Hey, my name is Jim McMahon, and what I wanted to do here just real quickly, I wanted to go through um, the uh, Proverbs verse uh, 26, and I believe it's verses 4 and 5, where it says, Answer not a fool according to his folly, lest thou also be like unto him. And then the next verse says, Answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own conceit. All right? Now, a lot of people look at this verse and they say, well, that sounds like a contradiction. And it's really in the application of according to his folly. And let me give you an example here. All right? It says that uh, Jesus Christ died according to the scriptures. Now, what that means is that he died as the scriptures said. So what he did was, in the, script, in the scriptures, it says that what he did in real life was like unto the scriptures what they say. Okay, so just like in the first part of this verse, or these, the first verse of this, it says, answer not a fool according to his folly. Okay, so that means don't answer him making his mistake according to his folly. Okay, it says, lest thou also be like unto him. And I'll give you a quick example here. If I told you a perverse joke, all right, and you laughed at me, now we're both idiots. Okay, so now you're also like unto me, we're both being fools, we're both being fools, okay? Now the next verse says, answer a fool according to his folly, all right? Now this is a different application. It means there's an appropriate response to what I have done. There's an appropriate response to the folly that I am making, okay? So if I'm making a perverse joke unto you, all right, then you would rebuke me or reprove me using a scripture that is appropriate based on what exactly that I've done, all right? Now, we're not supposed to have filthy communication, so you use something like that, um, you know. But the bottom line here is that a lot of people that think this is maybe a contradiction, it's obviously not a contradiction. In the first part of this, again, the according to his folly means that you are not making his mistake. All right. So if I make this joke, this perverse joke, and you laugh, you're making the exact same mistake that I am. Now, this can also happen in reference to, let's just say, uh, someone told you the King James Bible was uh, not the preserved and perfect word of God. And, you, and they give you an example saying, well, men have found this and found that. And then you say, well, okay, I guess maybe. And then now you're an idiot. Okay. Because you are trusting in the wisdom of men and not the power of God who created the entire universe. You're being a respecter of the person that is actually making this mistake. And by you being a respecter of persons, you are making the folly that this person is. Okay? So, therefore, again, I just go through this one more time. Answer not a fool according to his folly, meaning not making his mistake, lest thou also be like unto him. All right, answer a fool according to his folly, meaning appropriately based on what he's saying, okay? Lest he be wise in his own conceit, because if you laugh at my joke, now I think I'm smart. I think I'm wise because of what I've done, all right? And the same thing goes, again, for what I would say about the King James Bible. And, and there's many other uh, references to, uh, you know, what you could use here, all right? But the end result is that this being not a contradiction, nor is it some philosophical musing, which I, you know, I've heard people answer it as if it's saying something like, sometimes you answer them and sometimes you don't. But that's not what it's saying. It's giving you a specific situation, all right? And just like repent and believe, you have the two sides of the same coin, all right? Like when you turn from something to believe something else. That is one scenario with one correct answer, and that is exactly what this proverb is. You actually use it Probably, if you read the Bible when you actually try to practice what is in it, then you probably use this proverb all the time and didn't even realize it. But that's what I'm going to go through real quickly. Uh, thank you for your time, and I hope you understood it. Have a God-blessed day.